No music intros this time, citizens. And no silly speeches. Recently, we lost Steve Dillon, one of the greatest 2000 AD artists of all time. This is a tribute. Steve Dillon recently passed away at the age of 54 of complications of a burst appendix. My first experience with Steve Dillon's artwork was actually in 1986. At that time, I was investigating role-playing games. I was enjoying that quite a lot. And uh, the makers of 2000 AD actually had a new type of idea for a comic. It was called Dice Man. In it, a private investigator of the 1930s film noir style was going around doing adventures, and you would choose, by going to different parts of the uh, comic book, what would happen. But choose your own adventure. In the story, it was Rick Fortune was our investigator, and he would roll dice, hence the name of the comic book. The dice would occasionally bring forth Astragal, a demon that would sometimes help, sometimes hinder Rick and his investigations. But again, this was the first time I would see the work of Steve Dillon, and it spoke to me. His artwork was incredible. It also introduced me to the Judge Dredd series in 2000 AD itself. Steve Dillon began his career at the age of 16. Apparently he was in a Forbidden Planet store in London and ran into the editor of Marvel UK. He happened to have a lot of his artwork tucked under his arm in a portfolio. And the editor just thought, this kid has got incredible talent. We're going to bring him on board. And they did. Steve began his work on Hulk Weekly. And just looking at some of these images, you can tell there is that distinctive Steve Dillon look. I often notice that there's something in the way Steve Dillon's men's faces have this big jaw, this squared off area, that would lead him well when he would eventually start doing Judge Dredd. There is no question that Steve Dillon's Dredd is one of the most iconic of the entire character's history. A lot of people in recent interviews have said, when they think of Judge Dredd, it is Steve Dillon's vision of the character that they are thinking of. Looking at these images, you see that not only is there an incredible dynamic style, not only are the action sequences speaking on a great level, but to Steve Dillon's credit, his humor is also coming through, and that is something that not a lot of people touch on with the Judge Dredd universe. It has always been known to have a cynical, tongue-in-cheek, jaded perspective that speaks on a very subliminal level, but is hilarious when treated with the appropriate respect, and Steve Dillon did that with so much of his artwork. And again, there is no question, Steve Dillon's dread has the dread chin perfectly. It is the opinion of this street judge that only Brian Bolland even comes close to Steve Dillon's legacy when it comes to incredible work making Judge Dredd a reality in the comic book pages of 2000 AD. Now, Steve Dillon also worked on many other characters in the 2000 AD series. Chief among which was Rogue Trooper. This is a great series that I can't possibly go into in any detail during this tribute, but check out Rogue Trooper. And once again, we have a very distinctive look on the face. I mean, if that visor was, or if that helmet was down a little bit further, you'd swear you're looking at the face of Judge Dredd. Rogue Trooper is another one that has great action and also hilarious comedy. There's something great in the way that Steve Dillon does his art, that he speaks on both levels for both dynamic adventure and also hilarious, funny storytelling. As part of my tribute, I will one day be reviewing the Rogue Trooper game on the Wii. Now, this is not Steve Dillon's artwork on the cover, I don't think he actually contributed to the video game itself, but there's no doubt looking at the characters in this game, they are very much based on the Steve Dillon vision. We're looking forward to doing a review of this game. Toward the end of his days with 2000 AD, 
Steve Dillon had grown quite a reputation among all the other artists as someone you could come up to, ask questions, and get some guidance from. He definitely earned his Big Brother status, and I'm sure many of the staff were sad when he decided to move on to other projects. He moved to Ireland, where there are many stories of people trying to get in touch with Steve knowing they don't need to bother trying to phone him, they don't need to bother trying to make an appointment with him, just head down to his favorite pub, and you know which corner he's going to be in. He'll be there. There is a cover that Steve Dillon did of Judge Dredd working with an Irish judge. Perhaps this was during the time when he was thinking of moving over there, or perhaps this was a celebration of how much he enjoyed living on the Emerald Isle. It's hard to say, but definitely by the 1990s, Steve had moved on to other projects. He had actually co-created the Preacher comic book. And that is a very highly respected comic book with a huge army of fans, even to this day. Go into any comic book store and you will find Preacher on the shelves. So when you see it, spare a thought for Steve Dillon and how he created that classic. In later years, it was becoming obvious that Steve Dillon's health was beginning to waver. He seemed to be drawing quite thin. Certainly in all of the pictures that are online, you can see he's not quite the same man he was in his earlier days. It's very unfortunate this complication of a burst appendix led to his demise because he was only 54. He had many more years of great artwork ahead of him. As I draw this tribute to a close, to the friends and family of Steve Dillon at this time, I would like to extend my condolences. And for you, and in the memory of Steve Dillon himself, speaking on behalf of all street judges, we salute you.